Hello, welcome back. This is Uncle Eric. Today we are talking about what is the most common mistake made on remote control settings. Okay, before we start, don't forget to tap on the follow button. The number one mistake made is actually using the silent mode or the lowest fan speed uh, on your remote control settings. What is so wrong about it? Using the fans, the slowest one cannot make. I mean, true, although it will give you a very quiet night sleep, uh, cannot hear the aircon uh, operating at all, but it's also the ultimate reason uh, why many uh, people is getting the condensation problem. So as you lower down the fan speed, the delivery of the corners, right is actually the slowest. Then what do you have to do? You have to drop the temperature setting, right? So that you get colder air from your aircon. Uh. That is also why your power consumption go up higher. Lo. Then you feel the pinch uh, when you pay your power bills. At the same time, when the fan speed uh, is the slowest, it will also take a longer time for the air thermistor sensor, which is on your aircon, to match the temperature settings uh, you put on your remote control. This will make your outdoor compressor right to work even much more longer before it actually slow down into what we call a power saving mode. So if you want to get faster cooling, better power consumption, you should be using consistent fan speed uh, at least two onwards and avoid using the slowest and the silent mode. Okay. Then also avoid uh, using a uh, auto mode because the aircon doesn't know whether you are feeling warm. Especially you sleep until middle of the night, you already start to feel warm. And then the, uh, the uh, aircon just go into auto mode because it thought that, you know, temperature setting that you set already match. It slow down according to the automatic settings. Then you feel warm. That is why avoid using auto mode. Always use consistent fan speed to onwards. Okay, I do have customers, right, who are very persistent. Then they ask, then what is the lowest fan speed or the silent mode for? If let's say it's not meant to be used, then why is it on the remote control? Under what kind of circumstances you use the silent mode? Actually, probably a similar situation like this. Lah. Like right now, I'm talking to you and doing this recording. I don't want the fan speed to be too loud as the mic might be picking up uh, the additional noises. Then at the same time, if let's say you are doing an online uh, meeting, then yes, you don't want the fan speed to be too loud. That will be in the day and you are using only for a short period of time. Yes, for that, right, you use a silent mode, okay, but not throughout the entire night. If let's say you are sleeping at night for at least for eight hours, uh, better avoid using the silent mode. We have seen uh, so many customers, right, having condensation problem uh, with their pipes and the insulation and cost uh, a lot of money to repair after that. Okay, today's bonus feature, we are talking about Mitsubishi Aircon. What is it about on the remote? Have you seen this before? The smart set? Do you know what is it used for? Okay, the smart set button, right, is just like a memory between a normal temperature that you use, as you see right now. But when I come back home, I want to have another setting that I want to drop temperature immediately when I come back home so that I can have my aircon uh, performing at a lower temperature and get the room cooler and faster within just 5 to 10 minutes. This is what I do. Just press the smart set. It's just like a memory call of the other setting that you want to use. And when you feel okay already, press the smart set again, then you will go back to the previous setting that you were already using at a comfortable temperature range. Thank <laughs> you.